time to get to business. I got four minutes of random junk to edit out from me just sitting and swaying to some music, but hopefully some people show up. If not, I'm used to it by now. Uh, so, I've talked a bunch of times about how I'm a huge fan of all things that are coming out of uh, Ashcan Comics Pub. Uh, I have interviewed some of their you know, writers, some of their creators, some of their talent on, on the blog. Uh, I've read virtually everything that's on uh, their online library, and you can see right there next to my invaders, I've got my lovely stack of all of my Ashcan books that have come in. So, the moment that they announced that they were doing a Kickstarter for Vala, the, the Beast Heart, the game, I got really, really excited. I did a uh, unboxing of my first ever delivery from Ashcan, excuse me, from Ashcan Comics Pub. And it was the month that uh, Vala came out, and I can't remember what the, the flip side of the book was, and it's going to kill me for a bit, but I know it, I'll jog my memory when I open up the rest of the package here in a second. Uh, but the reason why I can't remember anything else from that unboxing is because uh, of the one thing that was prominently featured that was not the book. And it was a set of pogs. You know, if you were a kid who was born in the 80s, raised in the 90s, those little cardboard discs that we all carried around in like the old uh, prescription drug bottles that our parents weren't using anymore, right? Or, you know, the big, fat... Uh, like we don't care about the opioid crisis levels of, of pill prescriptions. Uh, I carried around a hot mess of pogs in, uh, in those in like a big old lunchbox that had all my slammers. And I thought I was all cool and hot shit walking around with those and the Jinko jeans. And then, you know, when pogs were no longer a thing and also rest in peace, Crystal Pepsi. Uh, right, we all moved on to shit like Magic the Gathering, because that was cooler than hogs that literally had anything uh, stamped on them. So, when they went live, and I saw that the, the pogs element of, of the game was, was part of this big universe uh, that they wanted um, you to kind of enjoy the game that would help enhance the way that you enjoyed the story, uh, you it, it made me very 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 interested to figure out uh more of the game and kind of embrace the universe of the book uh so i've got three things that i will open and i think i know what's in both of them uh so i backed the the kickstarter to very personally you know or very selfishly have a set of some of this for me uh and then i plan on putting some of these together as as a giveaway so in in this first envelope i've got all of of the goodies of a lot of the in, interior stuff oh one of these was my first kickstart and then the other one was what came out this month whoops hey wired man looks dope Oath Chapter 3 is out, and that looks like a good flashy sticker that goes with it, so shame on me for assuming that everything was together in the Kickstarter. Uh, but this looks like a good kind of sample of, of everything that you get in the package. You'll notice that you've got uh, Vala the Beast Heart Chapter 1, which is written by Stoney Williams with art uh, by Nate Lindley. And then you've got several other little things in here associated with the, the Kickstarter. You have uh, the runic symbol that is part of the Vala story. You've got the the slammer. Uh, oh, the, the runic symbol is a temporary tattoo. Uh, you've got a Vala style card that has little uh, card anchors in there that you can secure them to. And then of course you've got your slam. So, this looks like, you know, everything you need for the, the first portion. And I don't want to open this one for now because I've got a big stack of things down here in, in this box. 
So this box arrived on my doorstep and I didn't see the envelopes in my mailbox because they were left in my mailbox and my, my mailman just put the big box. So I intentionally backed this project at a relatively high level to make sure I could get, you know, not just everything for myself because I'm a big fan of not just all the things that the publisher does, but I'm a big fan of the, the art that Nate does in nearly all of the titles in addition to running the publishing house and then uh, i'm a big fan of stony williams as well who's the author who has written several things uh for um ashcan and has his own um title coming out through through mad cave here in bed uh so one of the things that came with the level that i backed up for myself is a little clay runic press that you can use to make your own runic symbol. So I'm gonna put it together and then kind of hold it up real close to the camera so you can see that. So that's that's pretty cool. Uh, and then you also got at that level a produced runic charm that Nate had a pretty cool uh, image up on his, his Twitter on the night that he fired all of these. So you can see that in addition to everything that Nate did, does with Ash Can, right, that he this Kickstarter was everything his heart and soul, because you see these initials uh, in the runic symbol. And this is something as I drop it, thank God it didn't break or I would feel really sad. Uh, but I'm going to hide from my children because I think that's awesome. So here, in terms of stuff, that is in the box. Each game comes with a set of, of pogs that are specific images, items, characters from, from the story on the front and then on the back, the Ashcan Comics Pub logo. So you've got the set of pogs and then you have a game card that walks you through how to play the game, right? You're not just playing Pogs, you're not just rocking a slammer onto the table, you are uh, playing playing this game where you are rolling a, a die in terms of the, of the battle of uh, the, the people versus the, the Kraken. Uh, so you're seeing what the values of different die rolls are on the front of the card and on the back of the card you see the objective of the game that you are playing, right? So if you are playing by yourself, you see the, the turn phases, you're seeing what you can do when you play by yourself. And then at the bottom of the card, if you're playing multiplayer, you can see what's going down there. So that's piece number one, right? Pogs, pogs and rules, dope. If I dive further in to the box, you can see that I've got a couple of copies of Vala by itself. So that's really cool. And then it looks like Nate sent me a bunch of copies of Oath number two which were the flip side so in terms of me getting more literature or more books in your hands uh, once I figure out how many copies of everything that I've got in here I will tell you exactly what you can do to get this sent to you so I've got copies of Allah I got copies of Oath they're the trading card or the like you know CCG style cards that I didn't take out of the the initial bag so you're seeing that, you know, Vala is a hero Midgardian. You're seeing, right, the statistics at the top of the card. You're seeing what happens uh, if Vala is attacked while the shield is deployed. So I think this is kind of cool. And then, of course, on the back, you get the Vala the Beast Heart logo from the story. So those are really cool as well. In terms of the rest of the goodies in the box, right? 
to play the game. You gotta be able oops, to have a slammer. So, right, there's the slammer with the runic logo from Vala the Beast Heart on one side and then the Ash King Comics Pub logo on the other. So, those, those are really cool and it's gonna be hard for me to not see a billion of them. And then other things that I have to uh, distribute in in these goodie boxes of if you win them, I've got copies of the Flash Force Fiction Anthology, which I've reviewed some of them. Uh, I believe the way that this works is everything that was produced in the first year of publishing uh, from the Flash Fiction side of Ashcan is all there, so you've got 30 different stories in this book. Uh, you've got art. Uh, you've got all kinds of genres in here from sci-fi to western. Uh, and they're all really, really good reads. Uh, especially if you want kind of short digestible fiction uh, as well. And the last album, or the last item I've got in the box to go with uh, my copies of, of Oath number two to give out are some copies of, of Nate's Oath number three, which which are also in there. And this is a, a comic that I've really enjoyed. I have not read volume three yet digitally because I'm very excited about kind of reading it in, in the form that they, you know, they want you to read it in, they want to share. So... I've got some of their their books to finally give away as well. So even if, you know, nobody kind of wanted to tune in and see what's going on in here, uh, I know a lot of you might, may or may not have checked out uh, what's going on in the world of Ashcan. Uh, if you haven't, I will say, like I do a lot, that you've made a bad life decision, uh, that you should check these things out, that, you know, is... Nate so eloquently says when he's interviewed for the low, low price of $3 a month, you can check out everything that they've done. And if you love it, awesome. Keep giving him three bucks. If you don't, guess what? You can send Nate an email and they will, you know, they will listen to your feedback to figure out what you they can do to do right by you to tell the kind of story that you want to hear. So... I wanted to show you all of the pieces of the game, all of the elements of, you know, books and whatnot that, that I picked up to share, especially with you all, because, you know, like I say, every time I review something, I'm not going to blow some smoke uh, to, to make people feel good, that I'm only going to, you know, get behind, put my name on, talk about things that I honestly enjoy. Uh, and, you know, that I, I think are worth getting into and reading. So, for those of you who just watch YouTube, or just look at the blog, or just Instagram or Twitter, pay attention, because in addition to some of the other giveaways that I've already posted information on, uh, I will talk about how you can dip some of these games or win some of uh, these games if you are you know, interested in picking one up or just getting some sweet, sweet Pogs action and then reading a really enthralling story uh, or some really, really good small batch comics uh, to, to immerse yourself in that world. So I'm going to sit here for another few seconds and enjoy my lo-fi hip hop that I hear in my headphones. I don't know if you all hear it in... In, in the background. I won't know that until I try and fix it in post. Uh, but I'm excited to have these elements of, of the game that once I can, you know, physically see people again in the world, you know, maybe I'll try and play a round of Vala that maybe I'll, you know, we'll stream a game of, of Vala. Uh, I don't have the camera for that, but we'll try, right? You fail what you do, dust yourself off, get back up again. Uh, but, you know, thank you for checking me out. Pay attention on how you can get 
one of these sweet, sweet game packs. And as I always end literally every single video that I put up on the internet, have a good one. She said this.